All right, guys, today we are in North Canton, Ohio at This Spirit Halloween. And if you don't recognize it, take a better look because this is where I filmed this year's Spirit Halloween intro. Right here is where I came walking across with the Great Pumpkin sign. In fact, right over here is where I parked to draw that Great Pumpkin sign. And right in front of these windows right here is where I ran away when I saw the possessed pumpkin grow up right here. All right, guys, let's go ahead in and see what kind of awesome Halloween goodness we can find at this specific Spirit Halloween. Oh, and by the way, this used to be a Ollie's. All right, here we go. Yes, the store is looking awesome. I can already tell that the laboratory is on fleek. In fact, let's make it the first thing we do. Here we go. Yes. I'm so glad they have this looking good. Where's the sound? Oh, the sound comes out from right here. It's like you can hear the bubbles of death. And let's just look at it from here for a minute because it looks so good with all four bubbles of death tubes working as they should. Look at this. How cool is this? We have the screen above working perfectly. Here comes Jack Reaper. And we have Barry right here in his cage. Let's see if he works. Yes, here we go. Look at that, he is swinging really good. I think that's the best looking berry I have seen in all the stores so far. I think that may be one of the best swinging props I've ever seen. Meaning that like any swinging prop I've ever seen has basically just barely moved, but that guy is rocking. Barry, you got it going on. <laughs> We're gonna leave him some stickers right here on the bubbles of death. Okay, let's go on through here and see what kind of animatronics they have set up around the laboratory. If they had a punchy, he would be right here. Unfortunately, they don't. I don't know if they have one in a box somewhere, but we haven't seen it yet. We'll keep looking. They do have the bog zombie set up. Look at this. Every time I see a bog zombie, like the colors on these are different. I'm sure they cut it all from one giant piece of cloth, but look at the streaks in there. I like that light green. Let's get him going here. You gotta love the bog zombie. And look up here, this is what it looks like when I'm walking around the store making videos. <laughs> and of course we have Lord Raven. Now we had to step up here to see him, but let's get him going here. Mr. Nostrils, AKA Lord Farquaad. Okay, somebody who owns him, tell me if he turns up louder than that. Because every store that I've been in, he's been I don't know, you can hear him, but you just can't really quite make out what he's saying. Okay, and we have Grim over here. Let's get him going. Your host is not here right now. They're busy burying something in the backyard. But we'll have loads of fun while they're gone. <laughs> I'm thinking it was Big Lots where they had a bunch of the uh, full-size skeletons and they had eyes sort of like his. So if you had a Grim and you were making an awesome skeleton setup, you could get a bunch of those to set up around him. It would be like his kids. Stickers for Grim, if you please. And Shorty would be set up here if they had one as well. And inside here would be Young Crouchy right here if they had one. I think the only store I've seen Young Crouchy is the flagship store, but I know people are finding him and buying him in other stores. And yes, they do have a Monty set up, so let's get him going. There he goes. Look how white his teeth are. 
I can't even say that he needs the Aquafresh. Although he probably does need some odor eaters for those feet. Hello, Mr. Random Skull. Okay, let's make our way back here, guys, and uh, see who they have set up back here. This guy is getting down. Okay, so we have a couple of them set up here. We got a Mr. Dark, let's get him going. Come on, miss, there we go. He jumps up so fast that he's hard to trail. And we have the bag of bones. Let's see if he'll jump. There he is. Oh, uh, he doesn't have his green light on though. He's pretty dang loud though. There you go, that's one of the loudest bag of bones I've heard. And of course we have nozzles with the crazy hair. Let's get him going. Make way for the toxic mob. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I had to take a break from Nozzles to give some of these guys some stickers. And speaking of stickers, let's leave some for Nazi. Alright, let's go into the dangerous experimental room and see how it works out in here. The floor, that is a quick acting floor. This one's actually buzzing really good. And here goes the electrocution electrocutors. These ones down here are working the best. We have a couple in the middle that aren't working. Of course, I stepped up and I stuck my face on them to make a joke about them not electrifying me. And they took off. <laughs> They're electrifying my face! I thought I was gonna get away with not getting electrocuted this time. Okay, let's come on back through here, guys, because they have a whole bunch of animatronics on the floor here for sale. Look at this, we got a Monty. We got a Bog Zombie. As usual, there's a whole bunch of the sitting scarecrow. Look, they got one, two, three, four, five of those. Oh, look, we got three nozzles in stock here. And two Grimms, two Lord Ravens. What was that child talking about? And holy crap, look, we got one, two, three, four, five Bubbas. Five Bubbas in stock. Sinister Spirit Dolls. Ooh, we got a Nightcrawler on the end. And four Fogging Skull Piles. Oh, and look over here, guys. We have some creepy dolls. We have Eerie Emma, the decrepit haunted doll. And we have an Uncle Charlie. He's kind of hard to find. Let's give him a sticker right in his hat. I always thought it was so strange how the creepy dolls all have names, except the decrepit haunted doll. She's all alone without a name. I think in other years I've called her Decrepit Donna, and like people got mad at me for some reason. Maybe we should call her the one who shall remain nameless. All right, let's look at the babies over here. Do we have a burrito baby? Guys, this is one of the first stores I've been in this season that does not have a burrito baby. They have four rat biters. They have hand biters and spider biters. They even have crawler honors <laughs> and cockroach munchers and the brain biter but no burrito babies do you know where the burrito babies are <laughs> holy crap guys i didn't even notice that they have the double-headed cat dog wait there's a cat butt right there <laughs> maybe that's what they're so mad about they're like get your butt out of my face all right let's turn this kitty around there you go, Mr. Cat Dog. That's better. All right, look at this guy. Somebody told me that this was actually another dog, but that to me looks like a cat on the left and a dog on the right. It's a cat dog, isn't it? Cat dog. Cat dog. I mean, these look like dog paws, except for this one connected to this head, which obviously looks like a cat paw, and this looks like a cat tail. I am pretty dang sure that's a cat dog instead of a dog dog. Okay, let's come over here and look at these masks for a minute, because I'm really beginning to question myself on these. The Universal Monsters. This is Frankenstein. This is the creature from the Black Lagoon. But that's all I'm seeing in the stores right now, and I could swear that the flagship store had like four different Universal masks. Oh, look at this. Here is the Batman mask that I've been looking for, guys. Look how good that thing looks. That is Batman versus Superman. That is probably one of the best looking Batman masks I've seen. He must have got punched by Superman because his nose 
is slightly to the right. Whoa, wait a minute, look at this guy. Green alien latex mask. That is freaky looking. Oh my gosh, look how long his head is. His head is so long. Check out the big brain on Brad. Oh, we got the possessed pumpkin mask too. He looks pretty freaky. And check out this Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface mask. This one is actually pretty good looking. Here's a hog mask, which is very appropriate because I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece. <laughs> All right, somebody in the comments asked me to look at the Haunted Mansion stuff, so let's check it out. We got Haunted Mansion mugs. Welcome foolish mortals. Here's another one here. I've only seen the Haunted Mansion one time, so I don't know who the characters really are. What is this little box here? It's, oh, I see. They have like rubber bands around it so you can't open it, but it's some kind of a little box. Tomb, sweet tomb. Another little coffin shaped box. Light up mantle decor. Okay, that looks cool. Haunted Mansion hand towels, maybe. What's that say? Wall-to-wall -wall creeps. Grim grinning post, like a, uh, a newspaper here. Haunted hitchhikers at it again. Okay, look at this, we got a light up wreath. That's pretty cool. Welcome foolish mortals. Haunted mansion plate. Oh, that's ceramic, that's pretty heavy. If you drop that, it would break. And here is a tumbler, welcome foolish mortals. Here's this guy, this is a candle holder. That's pretty cool couple of different throws. Here's the Haunted Mansion, and here's Beware of Hitchhiking Ghosts. Oh, and I have another one. It's a Madame Leota. Gel clings. So the only Haunted Mansion I've ever seen is the one with Eddie Murphy. Is there a cartoon or something, or does this go to that? I liked that one with Eddie Murphy, but this looks like it would be cool if there was actually a cartoon. Tabletop projection light. There we go. Yeah, it projects all the Haunted Mansion stuff on the walls and on the ceiling. Haunted Mansion Journal. This is pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. You could write all your innermost evil thoughts. Haunted Mansion Votives. Those are for candles. I almost missed this Madame Leota light up sign. Let's see if we can get it going. Yeah, you can barely see it because it's so light in here, but that face lights up. And we got a headstone here that says, Here lies good old Fred. A great big rock fell on his head. Oh look, there's a couple of things on the end here too. A couple signs, another wreath. Oh, this is a, uh, oh, it must just light up. I thought it was like a snow globe. Here's one eye to read the map wrong with. And we have this bust of this guy, whoever he is. Okay, I thought maybe that it lit up or talked or something, but I guess not. Let's leave some stickers for that guy. Okay, hold on, we got some bobbleheads over here. Now they got the little ones here, a Freddy, a Jason, and a Pennywise, but these are the ones I'm looking for. And I already have Ghostface. I love Gremlins, but I don't want that one, and it looks like that's all they have for the moment. I bought Michael Myers yesterday, so I'm still on the lookout for Leatherface. Lots of Sam sidesteppers. We have some inflatable Sams. Ooh, they have three life-size good guys Chuckies. Oh yeah, look at this. We got lots of Hocus Pocus stuff leading up to the new movie, including... Billy Butcherson's head. Look at this, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hanging Sams. His head is like the size of a basketball. I think if I bought him, I would have to cut this out and put a Holly Ho bar in his hand. In fact, I believe if we come up here, I saw the Holly Ho bars. Where are they? What the heck? I swear I saw some up here. Maybe they don't have them in this store. I've been to like, I don't know, 10 stores so far. And surprisingly, most of them had the Holly Ho bars. And unfortunately, yet another store that hasn't got their ghost face stuff in yet. But look at this hat. I don't think I've seen this before. That is actually pretty cool. I get way too hot though, so I usually don't wear hot hats like that. Oh, look at this. This is a Jason mask that I haven't seen in here before. Look, if we lift up the mask, look at that face. Holy crap. I actually had one like this years ago. I mean, it was really high quality. It cost like 200 bucks, but uh, that's just what this one reminds me of. Look at that. That is so creepy. And look at this, guys. Something else I haven't seen anywhere. A Chucky axe. Look at that. It's like wrapped in his sweater. 
<laughs> that was pretty cool. $16.99 for that. This is why I like going to so many different stores, because you get to see all this stuff that you don't see in every store. And one more thing here before we go. Look at this Halloween shirt. I haven't seen this one either. Everyone is entitled to one good... I almost said one good square. One good scare. And look at this. The carved jack-o'-lantern on the back, and it says trick-or-treat or die. That's a long sleeve shirt. That is awesome. I could swear I already left stickers for Bog Zombie, but maybe they've been collected up by the little ones already. Hi! And look at this, guys. There's one thing I almost missed. We have the Sanderson Sisters three-pack of vinyl pops, but look up here. It's Danny with Binks. I have not seen these in a lot of stores. That is awesome. Yes, look at this, guys. They have the new Crouchy Fleece Throw and the Nightcrawler. I think this one's my favorite out of the two. That is so cool, and I love that green color. Guys, before I go, look who I've run into. This little guy here is Hunter. Do you guys remember last year when I filmed Hunter's Haunted House? It's going on again this year. I will put the address in the description below, and you guys can check it out. All right, guys, that is it for the North Canton, Ohio Spirit Halloween. We had an awesome time in here. Stick around, because we're going to plenty more. Ah, 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 ah.